This is an alligator snapping turtle baby. It's a uh, largest freshwater turtle in North America. Uh, these are not found in this part of the world. They're in the Mississippi and the Missouri River, and they're tributaries, and that's it. The, they have a life history similar to a sea turtle. That is, once they go into water, they will never willingly come out of water except to lay their eggs, which is kind of unique among freshwater turtles. But you can see they're perfectly adapted to eat fish. They've got a little lure right there at the base of their tongue, as well as a sharp hook beak, you know, made to make sure that fish and stuff can't get away from them. Also, what comes with that is some massive jaw power, which they use quite well to eat other turtles, mollusks, and all sorts of different animals and plant life, quite a bit of plant life as well. They sit at the bottom, they find a nice hiding spot. As you can see, they're perfectly camouflaged to look like debris, mud, and other sticks and stuff. They'll sit there with their mouth wide open, wiggling that little lure on their tongue, and then just wait for the prey to come to them. A fish will see the worm, swim right to it, and then that's really, that's it. These guys, unlike a lot of turtles, they cannot retract their head all the way back into their shell. The, um, that's about as far back as they can go. Um, they have a bony plate on top of their skull, which adds acts as a little bit of extra protection against predators and stuff like that. And although he looks really vicious, this is, they're, they're usually a lot more bark than they are bite. Um, a common snapping turtle is by far a more aggressive animal. These little bumps and tubules right there actually pull oxygen out of the water, which allows them to stay submerged longer, which is in, in, ingenious. It's an amazing design for an amazing animal.